man had not come for this lady. No, no anyway. He had come from the UK. He had come for a holiday. But him also the heart was broken. In the UK he had also got a girl and got children with her and things did not fare well. I said I will never get married again. Perhaps let me go back to my homeland. But he was also a citizen in the UK. When he came to Uganda he started uh, greeting the friends. Then then he remembered that he had family friends around Nansana. Then he went. Reaching there, he greeted them. That's where the miracle began from. And said, how comes I don't know this girl? And they described her. And he said, no way. If this girl is born again, for sure this is my right wife I have never seen it is, it is my first time a wedding that is done without meetings after that he boarded back to the UK and he started sending money the girl could come to me and tell me I wanted the reception to be here I wanted the service providers to do the decoration be like this it is between the girl and me I want my, my, my wedding my reception to be at Africana. I would like it to be around a swimming pool when it is already paid. Everything. And we told you had that now the introduction is near. We call people to be involved because you have to you need them. Amen. Amen. So she called some relatives. They came. And things moved on. The introduction was so good. After a short while, there were fish I waited at the cathedral in Namirembe. And then they left for the UK. But I was so amazed at this. Even that miracle transformed my perception. You may, you may cry for several years. But God can do something that can change your perception immediately. You people who think that God takes long unless you've not surrendered it to him learn to surrender things unto God so that he can do them in his own way one thing I know when when God begins God he finishes but always surrender you have to surrender the Lord do, does them he's able Praise the Lord. Amen. Our God is able. Even if it's a job. God cares for you. You may see yourself going through troubles. And you think he doesn't know you. God knows you. And he doesn't want you to cry. Because he doesn't want you to cry. He has a plan for you. But you, you cry because you, you have not yet seen what, what comes next. But trust God that he is one of your best friends. He doesn't want to see you go through a hard situation. And because of that, no just wait a minute, you will see him. The Lord is going to help you. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me give two, three people I'll begin my preaching. I want to you, everyone to use two minutes. The three of you are enough. Okay.
Praise God, Church. I would like to thank God. Initially, like previous weeks, for the previous weeks, I've been so broke. But the bankrupt. Poverty is a curse. But the bankrupt. Yes. But the Yet I had pledged it towards the dollar seed, now if the visitation for my daughter had come, but yet I did not have any money. So today I was going to school, I had texted a friend to give me a lift. The friend was going to Bakuli and said they will give me a lift. Reaching our time of separating ways. The friend gave me three hundred dollars. Ah, he's in the world. And yeah, I put a good dollar. Who has ever touched a dollar? Okay, maybe just seeing it. Zezino. Zino Zangi. Nangu pande kudola. Katonda wa. Nangu mukubi de komo ngali. That's a hey, for me. I met a certain man. Someone gave him money. And he did like this. I don't know what he meant. Maybe, maybe it was so okay. sorry. Tell us your names, where you come from. Praise the Lord. And say it a patience or jambo. A manyaga it a patience or jambo. Um, Vira Buddo from Buddo. Um, never some kama. I thank the Lord. Tinanke kama. I never am a gallery uncle. That the Lord has done miracles for me as well. Uh, so can I dala never day got nesibiem financially. First of all, I was a bit. Stranded financially. Even the person you are in, uh, the person you owe man does not pay you. But I thank God that this week I've been able to pay off my yes. debt and those that are related to they also paid me. Second, I thank God that gave me a scholarship to go back to school. I thank God that two weeks be the Nari handpicked as one of three students. I was handpicked as Ngomu Kubaizi. Abasatu. Oku to go and uh, represent the institute. Which institute? Makere Institute of Social Research. Again, of Chikide Chitongo Lechi Ocheva is a Makere Institute of Social Research. By one of our funders. Go back to take Am Saint. Columbia. University. Columbia University. Oku Gendo Somaka Kosa Katini. To go and have a short term course. Amen. I thank God for that. Praise the Lord. So you are going to Colombia. So when? Ogenda Colombia D. Ogenda Ogenda. October. Mugu kumi. Ana nzi ana katonda wa. Mukama iwa zuri. Praise the Lord. It's called Ita Patience or Jambo. From Ita Patience or Jambo. From King's College Budo. She's a teacher. Amen. 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 How many know her testimony? I want you people to be encouraged. We serve a mighty God. God changed that, that the life of that girl. I feel like I do not understand it. For someone to be elevated all the time. Where were you teaching by then? Chigando. Katona na kujam chalo. Forgot to bring you out of a remote area. All of you teachers here. Thank you for teaching. 
Na hii Yesu nga kute kumusomesa. But when Jesus touches a, a teacher. Class. He can change their class. Oyo mwana genze muamiri kemirundi obemeka. She has traveled to the U.S. several times. De, she, she has traveled and she, she is still traveling. Chisa chicha amuriko. The grace is still upon her. Kama yibazi. Praise the Lord. Fever ya wanonge kugende deko. The favor of this place when it goes with you Things really change You've made for me an evening May God bless you I'm so excited To hear that testimony God is great God is great And in the near future I'm so excited you United Kingdom. You travel to the UK. But there is a Scottish area. I can see you there. Okay. Uh, yes, you Praise God. Pastor, I told us to talk about the favor you prayed for previously. So, you I've given them the pictures. Yeah, I, I prayed, you prayed for me when I came here and I was blessed in two ways. I established up a company previously designing and exterior. Which, uh, which is doing interior designing and exterior designing. But it was not faring well before I came here. The company collapsed because of taxes and what, what have you. Even the crane bank where we used to deposit our money also got problems. So when I came here, that day I just forced my way out. You prayed for me and I showed you a picture of one of the, the jobs I wanted. The building was such a big building and they had just done the skeleton of the building. One of some famous engineers in Ampita. called me. called me. And he told me that you can sub us with the uh, interior and exterior designings here. There was a battle to get that job. Because the owner of the building, the owner of the building wanted some other person to take up the job because he had ever done it for him. So when I came and you prayed for me, you told me no that yo. I've given you this job. Even your rival have displaced him. That is the building that you can see on the screen. That's where we are started to do our work. It is me. Whatever you see, that is my work. But previously, I had a great wall. The anointing. So we did the interior designing of the office. Of the in charge. This but person I'm talking about be, is one, one of the big men in Kampala. Because for someone to have such buildings and 20 of them in a city center to, to, be, be, to befriend him or coming closer to him is not such an easy thing. But I was so amazed when the pastor spoke a word and I got that favor and I moved with it and started doing such things that you have seen I did not stop at that that, that you can see there is a school it is for the, uh, in Tinder and the lady 
She is also among the big people in Kampala. Those machines you see there are the ones we use. Scaffolding. Na yenga mbikola emabega wa company yangi jibaita Hanfrey Investments. But doing all this under my company called Hanfrey Investments. Ntia ojite kaya mu government. Kwa government hii. I had not registered it officially because of the taxes, as you know. So, when, when someone wants to know me by the company, I front it, but with fear. But, Pastor, I thank you. All, all that you see there. Your rider hotel is hanging with Seta. But that was done before. When things did not move on well. Everything you see there, it is my working. That is all Rider Hotel. That's the conference hall. From the lighting, everything. We do everything from the interior to the and exterior. And we surrender to you. Ne tukuwe bismuluzo. Ne tukuwa ngachuwe de. Kati akamimba kumula ba. That house you see. Abantu amba genwa ganti Freddy. Bana ngoruga mukampani Freddy takola buntu no buntu no. Some people say that Freddy doesn't do those minor minor things. Ne akamimba kona kada de mukalabi. Kari kabi genwa mukalaba. But I brought that house for you to see it. It was in a bad shape, as you said. No kalaba. Beka ba 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 kakola mu abaka zimba. It was all cracked. Na yeye na njini kari mu America. But the owner stays in the US. Kari kama mule merida. It had failed. Kakati. So we renovated it. There was also still a rang over there. I sent you a message, Pastor. When the caretaker had become a problem, she wanted certain things. Yet for me, I was focused at work. The work of my boss. So, Pastor, I thank you for that. Because sometimes I text you when I'm stuck. But it takes around 20 minutes. You do you do not always respond immediately. But once I see the blue text message, then I come down. Like 20 minutes or 30 minutes, even a bit shocker. Like 20 or 30 minutes, things change around. Sometimes, what is behind? What is there? I am amazed and ask what is behind. Receiving a message for someone to only receive a message. Not only me, but in Uganda, UK, everywhere. Now I'm on see you now. When you can read someone's message and respond. I really praise Lord. Amen. So there is the state. They have uh, put in but he needs me to come back here then we go to that big person thank you we always have big people without our knowledge if it is that work of, if all that work is for that man then there is wealth in this place First come back. Hmm. Come in our way. Kneel over here. Zadja Gwe. Gentleman. Chori Kati. What you are today. Siche Wali. Is not what you were before. But there is a woman. 
that used to stir around Maganjo. She did something against your life and endeavored to make it fail. But I'd like to bless the Holy Spirit and the angels of God because when you send me a message when I don't have time to respond I send the angels because they are so swift more than light yet I am also handling many things because in most cases I know that you want a solution I would like to thank you because you have the spirit of wisdom to discern. Know that by the time I've sent the message, after this time I've got a solution. And don't take it like a coincidence. And for you to know that there has been a force behind it to cause something to happen. I would like to tell you that all the rain and the evil forces that have been operating drawing things out of your hands let it stop it has stopped no, it, it has stopped I want to tell you from today that the living God that created you is going to uplift you. Is going to connect you. And your name shall elevate again. But I request you if there is anything you can be said for, ask the Lord to feed you with the Holy Spirit and learn how to pray. Because all the time there has been a short Muslim man who has got um, that Muslim sign on the forehead has been fighting. I don't know whether you related to him but they fight against every step you take ahead. But what will overcome him is one. It's for you to Just get filled of the Holy Spirit and pray in, the, in tongues. I pray that the Lord fills you with His Spirit. But you are still elevating apart from that man. That man. I don't know how, what he does, but I see him around Chiseka area. Chiseka market. In Chiseka market. Let me leave with the rest to you. But I will lay my hand upon you. Truth be told, when I lay my hand upon you, whoever will, atta will try to attack you will be attacking themselves instead. And I want you to keep it as a secret. You don't have to fight with people. Because God is determined to fight your battles. And he is able to fight in the name of Jesus. I lay my hands on you. May the good hand of God go with you grant you favor cause you to succeed in all areas in Jesus name Amen, Amen. Um, between Busega and Echale Gogende Kule Masaka Ove Busega the size of uh, Busega and Chengera. There is a plot. It's not that big. But it is owned by someone now. Perhaps they are abroad. But I see it being brought into your hands by God. I don't know what you shall put there. Perhaps there are rentals that can cause you get money. 
Bienjo get the bitunoli, the wall it is don't pass you, you just leave it there because the one who has spoken will bring it to pass. Whatever I have said, just watch and wait. Kubanga you get the ajabi de tirokubao. Come on, face Christy Evers. Praise the Lord Jesus. Come on, Evers. Praise the Lord Brethren. Amanya and said Deborah. My name is Deborah. Uh, Mine is not about cash flow, but favor. Last, last week, week a wet day. No, last Wednesday, rocks at all wet day. Naja, I came here when you were winding up the service, praying for people. Fred actually, Fred, yeah, Gamba. Fred told you about Fred my yeah. issue. Mumu ita junior and rose. Naeza muita Fred. Kabuka. Kabuka. Kati yali ya ngambi ya ntino chini. Ya jokso wala wala kunda wa na ye service neba. Uwela. Uwela masole. Ndi kapulebe kufesi. Katono nyo. Tujia kusasula. Ndiya kwa masi. Ndiya kwa masi. Zona zona. Tujia ziku. Kati. Butuwa jia umwe. Service ya juvuga. The staff went to draw the service and I made it. Nenda banga techija kusoka kwa tayi tugeze msa angabili. I saw it was in post. Kati Fred na jena kukamba wano. So Fred came to the person and told me. You called me and when I came. You prayed for me and I told her about the job. And you asked me whether I would testify. When was that? To which I said yes. Last Wednesday. Okay. This is. Last of this week. Of last week. The other week. Mm. Okay. Katino kwa tami kwa nonga banti. So you touched my hands and said you want to support. Chima la katigenda ba kunonye. Now it's enough. Let them take for you. When is the service here weekend? Then when is there this week? Tera kuata simu mukansa. I do take a silence. I do not offer any advice for anyone in church. When I reach outside, I have phone missed calls. I have phone for missed calls. I did not call back. There were seven. I called back the three and the five. I did not know. One of them was of a person I know and told me that they are looking for you. Where did you put the phone? And I told, I told them I was in service. But I will call them back tomorrow. On checking my email, they had sent me an email saying, "Come for." An interview on Janko Friday. Jangu kwa interview kuro kutano. Kuro kuna. Nebo bato sogo de. Jangu kuro kutano. Come on Thursday. If not possible, come of on Friday. Of course I wasn't ready. Nari ne, sete gese. Nene wamo kuro kuna. So I gave myself Thursday. Kuro kutano. I said let me, let me come on Friday. Kuro wale no lunu. But there were interviews. Bili. I had two interviews. Company mune yenga positions bili. In the same company but two positions. So ndabye favor. So I afford the favor of God. It is so hard o muto kushot listi ya kumili mwe bili. Chizibu nyo for someone to search list for two positions. Muka sela katono mwe katono. But then na take out the CV ya mune yenga. I had already submitted my CVs. Tebita ambula ne. But things were not moving. Katono mwe yagamba last week inti genda bakunonye. But the man who said you go and let them seek for you. I was meant to come here and ozo kuwa ujuizi wa favor na esi muna lisi zikute. I was meant to come here to testify, but so, I had not received the calls. Musumba, favor na jinabie. Pastor, I have seen that favor. When they were looking ne for ne me, they did not get me, but sent me an email. Zikoze. Today, I've gone for the interviews. Ne because I've just started, ne I'm ne not completed. I have a faith that ever since so we started so praying, praying, you said, the Lord who starts so has to accomplish. I take it that God that started a work last Wednesday will accomplish it. Amen. Please come and thank God before. Come and thank God. With your voice, Without a loud speaker, put up your hands, kneel, put up your hands, and thank God for that joke. Yes. Lord, hear the voice of your daughter. And I thank you for the job you've granted her. You who that started, I know you've already accomplished in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Come, I want to anoint your feet. Feet, your feet. I want your feet. So that you may go.
Go into the office. Go, I've commissioned in you. In the name of Jesus. You have left home for work. You've left home for work. The one who started a good work will finish it. Amen. Amen. Lastly, before I begin to preach, I want to thank God for two people. Susan and Joe for what God has done for them. We are going to have a song as they come to testify. Yes. A song. Don't, don't, don't stand before a song. Yes. The song is ready. Amazina. Simon, come and help. Help. Dance with them. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise God. I don't know where to start. I'm so glad uh, that I'm in front of God and in front of you people to give a testimony. You can dispute with your opinions but you cannot dispute with the result I had many opinions but I disputed with them however I have a result that I cannot dispute I came here looking for many things. I had moved in many places. I had passed here many times. I didn't know there's something in Nazareth that it would benefit me. I came here, they prayed, pastor prayed for me. I wanted to change my job. I wanted to be elevated. My wife prayed for me. It was too much. I would get attacked on the way with the people throwing stones. And then she said, this must stop. She carried some papers to church. They prayed on it. They came, they prayed for me. I was shortlisted for a job that I was three months sort of acquiring the qualification for. Among, among the thousands, I was, I was given the position. Somehow, in between the position, after being notified about that I have qualified, somebody went to sleep. I also died. I just woke up when I sent pastor a text said something is not correct. He's funny. He just saw a blue tick. I didn't reply. I told my wife, she said, be calm. Yesterday, I was given my appointment
on Monday I will be sworn in to the new office. I have come to confirm that you can dispute with your opinion not with the result. I want to thank God for the anointing that is in this place. Through this place the world will be blessed. Pastor, I can't thank you enough. I think we shall have more thanksgiving here. Oh, there is another, another testimony. Uh, I have two children that graduated from university. They always pray from here. I want to tell you that they even give, they were given job before the graduation. One from Gulu University, another from Busitema University. You can joke with your opinion. You can't dispute the results. Amen. Praise God, Church. Um, here to thank God for the anointing in this place. And also to say thank you to Papa for always praying for us. Joe has already spoken. After the notification of the appointment, appointment. It took some time before we were given the appointment letters until he sent Papa a message to pray for us. And this week we were given the appointment letters. I picked mine today and I'm going to give Papa to touch and have a look. For you, you'll just smell it from afar. <laughs> and you'll also be satisfied. <laughs> so thank you so much, Papa. May God bless you. Uh, some of these people are new. They don't know what is going on. Maybe for their faith to be lifted because the anointing crafts people. Amen. Amen. Tell them the position. This position that I have got the appointment for started with the word. The word came from God spoke through Papa that I would be promoted this was last year in November. Just after two weeks, they advertised and I applied. And before the advert came, Joe so wanted another job. I told Papa about it and he prayed for it. So when the advert came out, we both applied for the post of chief magistrate. chief magistrate. And by the grace of God, we both got that position. Amen. So those you are seeing before you, we are now chiefs. Amen. And other details may come later, but what I know is that um, a promotion comes with increased salary. And this position in the government rankings is of a commissioner. Wow. Thank you so much, Papa. Papa if it was allowed, I would have given you a hug. 
Why not? You have really done a good job in us. Mazimo tukoze mu mlimo wa Mlunji. Our faith has increased because of being in this place. Okiliza kwa fe kusitu senyo lo kubena mu chifo chino. Like my sister said, she's my follower. Omanyono ye mugani ye mtowa nganzirako. We can even now pray for the sick and get healed by saying that. You know, my faith was oh. lifted when I had had testifying the other time. I prayed for this lady in 2020. She did not know. She did not know. She did not know. But she could send me messages. She was going through a hard time. But I could wake up at night and say, Lord, as you do uh, for others. And I came to a time and I said, Lord, when will you ever work for this lady? And I seemed like I've given up. But when she testified, I was so amazed at a prayer that doesn't die. I don't know, but I was so delighted that day because the Lord answered my prayer. And that is why the time she was going through was so hard and caused me to press so hard yet I did not know her but later on I came to understand that she was a sister to her then I loved her more now you when you see her testifying that's why I wanted that to testify because of what you are doing praise the Lord and I'm telling you that this is a very great thing. Chief Magistrate, you are to a court of America. Chief Magistrate, five, several, five. almost Seven. five, can even be more. Yes. It's all about ten. Oba musamvugaziri wa siwe. Is the overall of all those courts when they all report to that person? That is a very great thing. Amen. Amen. And if it has happened here, I don't know what you do, why you don't believe in God. Amen. Amen. I want you all to believe God. The same anointing which has done this is the same anointing which is going to craft you. Amen. Amen. After three years in the office, in the office I'm seeing ah, no 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 before before three years. God is going to elevate you again. I think it will be between two and three years. There is another elevation which will come. Waliwo Yes, you wait for it. You are not supposed to see. You just have to smile. Father, I want to thank you. This victory comes from you. From, for promotion doesn't come from east from west, But it comes from above. I wish the people of the world would know that there is God up in the sky. There is God who does great things. They would come and look for him. Lord, I want to thank you. Because you chose this place and you chose your servant and you anointed him for this generation. I pray in Jesus' name that as these people enter their offices, they are coming to serve you. I pray that you grant great favor on their lives, my Father, and they promote them, Lord, more and more and more. In the name of Jesus, and great things will happen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Congratulations. Yoga, yoga.
Hallelujah. May God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. Isn't the Lord good? Should I also pray for you to become a magistrate? God be the chief magistrate of your home. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The Lord is really good. How many of you want to be elevated? You shall really be. Amen. Amen. And to turn this season. We have started a season of fasting. We'll be fasting for 24 days, 20, 20, 21 days. But we are going to be fasting five days. This fasting is very easy. It's called a partial fasting. You'll be drinking water from morning up to evening. But make sure that you come for prayers. You may not have come here physically But endeavor to be with us I prefer you to get data for a full month May God give it so to that you we move in one spirit. Make sure that we are together. Today is the first day. Saturday and Sunday there will be no fasting. You are free to go to your weddings or whatever. Eat with your family. But Monday there is no dark in the morning. Amina. Amina. No early breakfast. Teddy Dako. Teddy Teddy Teddy. No way eating early you are early breakfast. Allowed it to, to, to take hot water, room temperature. Okay, but I don't advise you cold water. Amen. Amen. You can carry your flask to your office. And put in your your, your, your tea. Amen. Amen. Just like that. Don't take porridge. Don't take milk. Praise the Lord. I think I'm clear on that. So we are we'll be fasting. But fasting without prayer is a hunger strike. So you must fast and pray. Fasting is always accompanied with prayer. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why I encourage you to come and, and fast. Uh, sorry, and pray with us. If you are not here physically, put on your data and follow us. We want to pray for the last part of the year. The Bible says for this very reason the Son of God was manifested to destroy the works of the devil. I know it is our part to destroy the works of the devil. Amen. Amen. Not Jesus. Amen. Amen. Jesus gave us the power yes, to destroy the works of the devil. I think you know what the devil does. Amen. Amen. Whatever you see there in your families, those are the works of the devil. But Jesus gave us the power yes, to tread upon scorpions and snakes and overcome all those forces you see. Hallelujah. Amen. So we are going to pray. Pray for October. Sorry for August. September, October, November, and December. I learned a secret. To preserve a prayer. Learn to pray. For things. For praying for things which are still very far. Amen. Amen. Because even the devil does so. If you know that you start building in October, start to pray right now. Always learn to pray early. The Bible says, Bible in Psalms, is it 62 or 63? The, uh, the Bible says, Bible you are my God. 
O Lord, you are my God. Ale will I seek thee. Ale. Ale chins of tegeza morning. It may not mean kumacha. Amen. Amen. Chins of tegeza before time. It it may mean ngade tekana tu. Pray for your 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 programs. Sabida programs before they begin. Ngatazinatani. Ale will I seek thee. Tinake rango kuno. That was David. Oyo Daudi ya In his days. Munakuze. He would pray for things. Ngasabida ebintu. Before they happen. Ngatebina bao. You have to pray. Oyino kusaba. For your marriage. Ulobu fumbo. For your programs. Ula programs o. Now Ita you are going to Morocco. Colombia. 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 Before you go to that course, you start, start by now. Amen. Amen. So learn. That, that is how the devil does his things. Before the day begins, he's already in the meeting. To midnight. To midnight, he calls upon the demon. Report, report. And says, "Give me the report." Tell me about Agnes. Mbolide bi kwata ku Agnes. The demon comes. Agnes. Nti Agnes. Arichino, Arichino, Arichino. Is A B C D. Abana be Arichino. Her children are like this. What should we do to make Agnes cry? Let us do this and that. Now, when you wake up, katibo zukuka. Ali. Kumacha. Amen. Amen. Wake up early Zukuka and destroy Ozikirize. the agendas of your enemy. The agendas of the devil. You break the networks of the devil. Before the day begins, that is before the day begins. If you want to be an overcomer, learn to do things before time. Amen. Amen. Before the day begins, before the month begins, dedicate the month. Before the week begins, dedicate the week. That's why when I'm praying for you on Sunday is here, many times I pray and tell God, Mukama, I cover the blood of Jesus on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I hinder the plans of the devil because I know that those days the devil has already prepared his things he has already set his agenda for each day he wants you to cry in the midst of your tears the devil gets an opportunity to speak to you to tell you how God is bad. That is how the devil gets his opportunities. He sets bad things and they come your way. When you are lamenting, the devil comes and tells you, God has left you. God is not good. God has forgotten you. Amen. Amen. But you can hinder those things. You can reverse whatever the devil has plan for your family. If you can pray in time before the devil does his plans learn to wake up at night wake up at three and hinder whatever the devil has started. Mention the names of your children and cover them in the blood of Jesus. Cover your husband in the blood of Jesus. Cover your wife in the blood of Jesus. Cover your office in the blood of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Who knows what happened over the weekend? We are happy for some people now. But there are people who are feeling bad. And when people feel bad, they go to sorcerers. They sacrifice animals. Praise the Lord. But thank God for Jesus. Thank God for the word of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For us, we pray. 
you don't have to get you don't need to get a dream you don't need to have a prophecy that the devil wants you to get sick praise the lord Amen. you just have to know you just have to know that the devil doesn't wish me well you wake up you use the weapons of god what are the weapons of god the name of jesus the blood of Jesus. The word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Those are the weapons. Praise the Lord. Amen. Before morning begins, learn to wake up and cover the whole day in the blood of Jesus. Kill the agendas of the devil. Learn to confuse your enemies. The weapon of confusion. The weapon, the weapon. God used it in Genesis 11. He came down and confused men who were building a tower. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. When you are praying Bobo Saba, against your enemies, learn to confuse them. Amen. Amen. When you wake up, Bozukuka. You tell God, thank you for this day. I know you are a good God. And the Bible says, this is the day which the Lord has made. We shall be glad and rejoice in it. When the day is, go, is made by God, you rejoice in it. You don't cry in it. When God gives you a job, you rejoice in it. You don't cry in it. The Bible says resist it to the devil and the devil will free from you. You resist the devil not by barking. No, you resist the devil by giving him the truth of the word. The Bible says this is the day which the Lord has made we shall be glad and rejoice in it. This is the job which God has given me, I'll be glad in it and rejoice in it and prosper in it. So, devil, I serve you notice not to, not to step in this job. Whenever you speak the word, the devil packs his things and goes. He says that this one knows the truth. Praise the Lord. Always resist the devil. Tell the devil the truth. And the word of God is the truth. Tell the devil that I have to prosper from glory to glory. Whether I want or not, you stopped my, my, my ancestors. But I am a new generation. I'm going to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. And I'm going to start a new chapter for my family. What my father did not see, I'm ready to see it. I am a new generation. Whenever you speak those words, the devil hears and runs away. Am I talking to somebody? Praise the Lord. Some people don't know that when you speak words in the air, they reach where you're going. Where you want them to reach. Mm, that is the truth. You may be there and say, Satan, leave my family. You are here and you are staying in Lubaga. Let me tell you, in the spiritual realm, there is no distance. Distance doesn't govern in the spiritual realm. That's why our brethren are in South Africa, in US, wherever they are. When I'm praying here, the power of prayer affects them. Prayer. 
is so strong. I want to tell you when you are praying for your loved ones, when they are far from you physically, they are not far in the spirit. If you want to bind forces, bind them in the name of Jesus, and they will be bound because the angels are always working with us. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes, the angels are veiled. When we speak, we are not speaking to the space. We have people that we are Demons are real. Demons are persons without bodies. When they come near you, you can get sick. When a demon comes near you, you can become bankrupt. But when you say, in the name of Jesus, I bind you. I command you to leave my home. Demons go. And I want you to learn something. When you bind something, and you tell that thing to leave. Please never doubt in your heart. That's what Jesus told. In the book of St. Mark chapter 11. No, 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 no. I think 11. Mark? Mark. Mark. Chapter 11. Or verse 20. 22. Let me see. Find out. Verse 22. Mm. Verse 22 says, And Jesus answering mm. said unto them, mm. Have faith in God. Mm. For very I say unto you, mm. whatsoever you shall, shall say unto the, this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he says shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he has said. Praise the Lord. Amen. In Uganda. In Uganda, Maka Kumi Nemu, Rabidi Mwebidi. Yesu Nadamu Naba Gambanti. Mubeno kukirizam katonda. Mazma bagambanti. Budi adigambo sozu no te siguriwa or suri we munyanja. Na tabu sabu samu mutima gwe. Na yenga kiriza nga chaga da chikolewa a richuewa. Praise the Lord. Amen. The problem you doubt in your heart. Echizi wo obu sabu samu timago. Amen. Amen. The problems you see have a spiritual root in the spirit. The failure you are encountering every day has a spiritual root. When you cut a spiritual root of anything, it dries. It dries. Amen. Amen. Whenever you cut a root that spiritual root of anything it dries because we are in the physical realm we are governed by seeing smelling the five senses as you know sometimes we doubt because we don't see the things but as a Christian you are supposed to walk by faith because God told us demons exist even if I don't see them I can see their words and believe that they are there when I'm praying to God I don't have to see him no he's in the spiritual realm that is the, 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 the truth when I see his works, then I know that he avails that he is present. He is always there. He exists. I want you to hear this. There are things that the devil does. But this time around, I want you people to wake up before morning and pray for that day. Amen. Amen. Before morning. Even if we don't wake up at midnight, you wake up, you wake up at three. 
Thank God for the protection. Lord, I thank you for yeah. protecting me. Protecting my loved ones. After thanking God, then you pray for that day. Ask you receive. Many times I tell God that Lord, I do not want to meet this and that. I do not want this. I cancel it. I will not encounter it. Amen. Amen. No, 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 no. I refute all. And I divert them out of my way. I do not want to meet bad things. Amen. Amen. Among the things you have to pray for that day, you have to know that there must be someone who has done something evil at night even if it's not a person there is a demon that is scheming for you destroy the plans of the devil even if you don't clap hands you can speak and things happen as long as you use the name of Jesus Every time we pray, remember to accompany your prayers with the name, the name of Jesus. Why? Acts 5. Acts 5. Acts 5. It says, Acts 4.12. Neither is there salvation in any, any other for there is none other name there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Again. Acts four twelve. Neither neither is there salvation in any other name, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Amen. So tewali mulala bulokozi kubanga tewali na linya dala wansi we gulele yawe bwabantu eri tugwanira okutulokola Mukama ibazuwe Amen When things come into issues of salvation you want to be saved from poverty to be saved from enemies. You want to be saved from anything You are entangled by problems Praise the Lord. Only one name. Use the name. Ma, uh, John 14, 13 and 14. Yokana 14. Uh, uh, no, no, no. John 14, 12. John 14. No, no, 13. 14, 13 and 14. John chapter 13. Verse 14. No, John chapter 14. John chapter 14. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Verse 13. John chapter 14. Mm -hmm. Verse 13. Mm -hmm. It says, And whatsoever you shall ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Amen. Amen. Verse 14. Verse 14. If you shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. Praise the Lord. Amen. You have to use the name as you pray. Use the name of Jesus. And tell him, Lord, in the name of Jesus, this is what I want. Let me tell you, even if you have the man on your mobile man account, if you don't insert your pin code, you cannot receive it. The name of Jesus is the pin code. He's the one who paid the price. And without that name, you cannot receive. It's the only name which was given to you. There is a reason why the Bible puts it that way. Because there are many names. Oh my God, there are many names. June 3rd, you can hear names. Amen. Amen. But there is only one name. That is the name of Jesus. If you want to be saved from anything, put in that name. 
Whatever you ask will be granted. But remember there are other names. Those names cannot save you. Kwa account ya katonde ega baby runj. Of the account of God that these good things they are not there. Even if they are the owners of the names are in heaven. The owner of the names are in heaven. If you are arguing, come here, pray for you, you die and you go see them. Come and pray for you. But to with go. matters of salvation, only one name which was given to us as humans, the name of Jesus. So when you pray, no, Rachel, you a company of prayers with that name, type in that name, you will receive whatever you need. Hallelujah. Amen. So when you wake up, Katibozukuka. Thank God. Because the Bible says, Enter his gates with the tears, right? With what? Na, with laughter thanksgiving no thank when you are entering into the presence of God don't enter his gates with the binding demons Pentecostals help us you have changed the way of prayer once you tell people to start praying you start, you start then you see noses changing go away God says what's wrong with my daughter prayer is prayer prayer is a dialogue between you and your father telling him what you are passing through you can even cry before him Amen. you can even shed tears before him the Bible says I poured my heart you can pour your heart before God but some Christians today especially the born again when comes to prayer they enter the, the gates of God with, with the binding with calling fire but you don't understand what sometimes even when the devil is not there once you tell a born again to start praying I bind you I, bind you. I, bind you. I crush you I crush you. I bind you crushing God crushing angels are you breaking can you break God start with thanksgiving enter his gates with thanksgiving and he in, in, in his courts with praise praise do you know praise? Someone who praises. It is the heart which praises. It is the heart that sees it and marvels at it and then speaks about it. That is praise. You can praise without music. President Museveni. The president of Uganda. When he went to Nangabo, he praised the anointing. When he came to Nangabo, he praised the clean place. Isn't it what he said? Amen. Amen. What he was doing, he was praising the place. Amen. Amen. Praising. Even if it's not a song composed, you can put it in a speech. When you see it, you marvel at it. 
what you were surprised of and talk about it then you would have praised it some people praise men others praise women but we can praise God once you see what he has done and you marvel at them speak about them then that is a praise how many of you always praise God? And where do you praise him from? We have to praise him in our conversations. As we talk our stories to our beloved ones. I marvel at God. I saw him doing a miracle for a certain lady in church. What you're talking about it means that you're praising him. But we also have people that put praise in music. They compose songs. The Zoe's, they involve music. And we start dancing. But why? Music Not because of the rhythm of the music. But because of the music composed in the music. That's why some praises are not because transfigured. They are, they, they are fo focus. Because they, they have focus. emphasis. But a syllabia is way. not on the message. Is on the music. But it take a music. Yet the anointing is hidden in the message. Not in the music. So simu music go babela you enter his gates. Thanksgiving. No kwebaza. When you wake up in the morning, thank God for the protection. Thank God. Even for other things. No kurebi into ebidala. Then Orono start praising him. Before you even tell God I need this. Ngatona na muga machewe taga. This month, we shall do two things. We shall pray and we shall fight with the devil. Listen to this. In the life of Jesus, he did three things. He always spoke to the Father. He spoke to creatures. And then he spoke to the devil. Amen. Amen. When he went to Lazarus, he was not talking to the Father. He spoke to Lazarus. Lazarus, come forth. When he went to the fig tree, he was not talking to the Father. He was not talking to the devil. He was talking to the fig tree. At times you have to come and talk to the devil. At times you have to talk to the situations around you and give them notice that you are not supposed to touch my body. By his stripes I'm healed. Somebody paid a price for me to live well. At times you have to talk to the situations around you. Are we together? How many of you always talk to the situations around you? How many of you have just learned it today? May God bless you. So put into practice. Sometimes in your authority, you need to tell a mountain be moved unto the sea. A mountain is not God, neither devil. Sometimes you have to say, you, my stomach, you shall fast. Have you heard? You brain of mine. Let chaos get out of you. Who says I'll go back and tell and talk to the situation? Long time ago, I trapped a rat by the We used to start kasangat. I tried to trap the rat. You bring the trap book, it does not get into it. For the poison, it had already failed. But one day I was at church. And I said, before I leave this ground, 
I cast that caster rat. You rat. Die. I wasn't talking to God. Neither to the devil. But to the rat. But one day, as I was pulling out that drawers, I, had no, I wasn't seeing it because it had become a child at home. And I found it rotten already and it went dry. It died. It died. Sometimes you have to tell you bank. You fit, you have to go to the bank. Not to go to the bank. You want to go to the money. Lenders. You just go to deposit your money on your account. Tell your brain. My brain getting like Stop borrowing. This is an offense. You get an old butoru. Speak to your son. Say my son. You shall fast this man in the name of Jesus. You tell me my mind. Stop getting no limba limba. and lie to me. That someone is bewitching me. Now talk to the man and say my name. Come to me. It is me that is in need of it. Mane, mane, mane. Come from wherever you and come to me. Now some is to sing. Even the sorcerers are better than us. How comes? You know what the sorcerers do? Early morning, they call upon the customers. They don't say that demons bring. That they summon the customers. To come. come and buy my tomatoes. How many of you have ever blown the pipes calling the customers? I know in the spirit you've raised up your hands. Amen. Amen. Learn to talk to creatures. But in the name. In the name. In the only name, the name of Jesus. Wake up in the morning and talk to your road. The road, the road will take you to your job, to your office. Gamba, you road. Let no accident be in you. You play. You don't get any problem along the way. Have you forgotten well, that we were created in the image of a king? Adam was a king. Adam yali kabaka. He used to give orders. Amen. Amen. Wake up early in the morning. Zuko kakumachenye. Talk to your day. Oyogere dio lunakuro. Lunakugwe. That you my day. Sagala mbizimu. I don't want any problems. Nzigala makuba gale tebizi. I hinder all the avenues that cause problems. Nama muno guli kuboli dinechi ziwe. Tell your neighbor that every. Every problem has got an avenue that causes it. Guli kuboli dinechi ziwe chidi data. Every problem has got a way that brings it. Ne ego kugala makubo. But learn to shut those ways. Amen. Amen. So, I shut all the ways that he calls tears. And I open the way. I open the way. Bring in cash. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on, speak to this man. What do you want? July. Just say one My money My money in July. 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 Don't swallow up my wedding. Someone call the are you already married? You are fellowshipping as you go away. When did you last, when did you last come here? Before COVID. COVID. Are you a sheep or a goat? I do not pastor people, but I pastor sheep. Where do you stay? She is an old member of this church. She is an old member. But 
What did you dream? COVID is normal. Eh? Eh? You got a conviction to come. Have you ever got a miracle from Kale here? Okay, tell us what you got. Ah. Hmm? You've left others With whom did you come? Weka. Alone. I wish yes, you go on like home. that. Jesus would have come back early. Ah. Tell them your names. Praise God, Church. I'm called Stella Nabunji. From Deje. I came here. I came here. Like seven years ago. You came before Professor Pastor Najimiaka Masam. One day, my girl, she was so full. I came here when I wanted to give birth. And you asked me how old is the one you wanted. And mm. I told you that no the, the, the child was two years. Go and have very many children. Go and have many children and also supply in the supermarket. After two months, I conceived. Over a boy child is about to make seven years. But before I told you that, I said to you that you gave me a prophet that I would drive. Yet it was my heart's mm. desire. Mm. Your prophet was not giving me money. So I got money and bought it. I was my heart's desire. So I got man and bought one. I brought it here and dedicated it. Mm. You still have it? Yes. God is good. I took some time without coming. I wasn't fellowshipping. But after some time, I came back. Because I stay far. I am the person who says the farthest. So when I came, and I told you my issues me and I got miracle and I was well off and so when you were here you sit home only that COVID came I did not fellowship so COVID is no more we are always here good enough you even got a account and the Lord will bring Amen. money for fuel Amen. Amen. the Lord who brings a car brings money for the fuel what's the name of George Samata Tatawe Sijia kuongira ko Mama Asana Amanyo gana malalanga Joe <laughs> My regard. Praise the Lord. David said, Oh Lord, my God. You are my God. Ale will I seek thee. Learn to seek God. Ale. Ale. Before time, before the devil begins his plans, learn to destroy them. Hallelujah. Amen. So when you are praying, thank God first. So because every time you come to pray there are certain, certain things the Lord has done and you have to thank him for them you come and say thank you Lord because, Lord thank you for thank you for the hair you gave me thank you for the food you've given Lord you have fed me you saved me from the sickness always remember Remember what the Lord has done to you. And give him thanks. Thank you, O Lord. Praise the Lord. How many of you have things that you can thank God for? I pray for 
you that they will never be raised out of your head because it what makes it the testimony of tomorrow in the name of Jesus when you thank God you begin to praise it's very easy to praise after thanking God because when you thank him then you would have already made a flashback and remembered every time you remember then you start to magnify no them and speak about them. them. The Lord, you are good. You saved me from this. You saved me from that. And by the end of it, to speak about that, you would have seen the greatness of God. After seeing the greatness of God, then you have started to pray. Because you have to pray after having encounter with God. Face to face. You have to start prayer having seen God. I mean, God your spirit face. must see God. Your spirit must sense the presence of God. But without praise, you can't come closer to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It is wise always not to give the devil a chance. And learn this. The devil is organized. At the meeting. He always sits meetings. Planning. And he plans for your Christ. But God does not chase the devil for you. Because God cannot fight with his creatures. That's why in heaven. There was war. But God did not fight the devil. It was who? Michael. Fought with Lucifer. Not God. But Michael. Fought with Lucifer. Because God. In his godliness. He cannot fight with his creatures and he the devil was cast down do you know what God says it will not end here Michael cannot fight in heaven and on earth because earth was given to man the Bible says heaven is God is and earth was given to sons of men now Michael is an angel he cannot come and dominate here it is man who has authority here. Do you know what God did? He said, I will come and put on flesh and give them power in the name of Jesus to fight Lucifer. Where Michael stopped, where Michael stopped, is where man will begin. Have you understood? Mikaidi we yakoma. Where That's where your men started. And then from. he said, Onagamba. I saw Satan falling from heaven. Like lightning. Behold, I give you power. I give you what? I give you power to tread upon scorpions and snakes and to overcome all forces of the enemy. I give you power. I cannot fight. My creature, but I've given you power. You fight with the devil. Use my name. In my name, you shall bind demons. You shall cast out devils. In my name, in my name, we have the power. You have the power. Wake up in the morning and bind demons of any kind. They will obey you. I don't want to hear hear someone say Saga la kuri ya mloko la agamba Yesu ngobera sitani Jesus please cast away the devil for me Yesu ngobera sitani Jesus cast away the devil for me Nika na utu katuna tomu kakanya nyo Please do not lower our God to to such a level Katuna yatonde chichitonde God created that creature 
So if Angel Michael smote it This is not a territory for Michael but for ours Amen. Amen He gave us authority and power In his name To bind all the demons You can do anything Using the name of Jesus You can paralyze The demon can can be paralyzed. And it is it becomes this. You can find it. Do you have chains? No. But you are a king. You just give orders. When you say in the name of Jesus, I bind you. The angels of God come and do what you say. We don't have chains. We have no chains. We don't have spiritual chains. But when we say that I bind you in the name of Jesus, we are not alone in this battle. The angels of God come and do what you've spoken. When you say I release fire, the fire brigade of heavens release fire in Jesus' name. Whatever you speak, when I say I reverse you, but remember in the name of Jesus, those things are reversed. I render you powerless. You eventually say that they are rendered Believe in your words. You are a king. Jesus restored the reign of his reign here on earth. What he had given to Adam was restored to man through Christ. You can bind things and they are bound. When you bind anything on earth it shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you bind in the physical can be bound in the spiritual. Trust in your words. Trust in your prayers. Learn to bind. Learn to release. This month We'll be fighting a good fight. We are going to fight a good fight. And you must believe in your words. When you bind, believe in your heart. Don't doubt. Amen. Amen. If it needs to tell a mountain to be moved, Tell it. I always saw the a shrine which was there for Saint Tom. I was patient. It took years. Every time I could move, I could talk about it. Send I demolish you from there. I shift to you. This was, this was the conversation. The story goes that there was a, an old woman who used to be there. She was always brought it to set fire. You know those hearts are always slanting. When they are entering the grass seed, when the old lady was taking the fire to be ignited in the shrine, someone called her then the grass caught fire Naduka. then she ran Akube she was making an alarm because the, the demons were Bage being burned by the time they came for her rescue the big men were already burnt and they did not save themselves they sent a message to the family heads please bring money so that we can restore the, the shrine once I heard of it I just increased the prayer I said Lord let no one dare Let no one dare do it They even saw the place and left you can tell something that you move away Jesus told a mountain that you mountain be moved into the sea Amen Amen you can tell that cupboard of yours that you have to see rats and I replace you in Jesus' name. Go back and talk to your bed. 
It speaks the whole night. When you turn, the night dancer will even come and divide. Come to that bed. Tell it I chase you out of my room. I'm giving you a few days, you bed. Even though I'm still using it, I call upon a new bed. New bed, come my way. You're getting a Tell it. You shall bear twins, you womb. Amen. Amen. You have to speak to your, your baby. You have to speak to your eyes. You tell them you shall see good things. You mouth, you shall eat of good things. You feet, you shall not be affected by jiggers. You, my brain, you shall study and understand what you're studying. I told you one day, my avocado was not yielding fruit. Even the person that gave me the seed was wondering why. I, I got it from along in Teba Road. One day I'd left this place. Right, it was there were also orange trees, but they were also not yielding fruit. Then I inquired from the agriculturist. How did you plant them? I said I dug a hole and planted. I said no. That is a wrong way of doing it. You put their sand, you put their stones, you put their shape, then you plant. I said, my oranges have already grown up. I said, they would have produced the oranges at a age. I said, in no place. Uh, they would rather become shrubs. Then from here I went to them. I was sure that no one was seeing me. Because they would have said it, that he has run mad. I looked in, left and right, no one was seeing me. Then I started with the overcut and I called with it. That you no, How dare you grow that tall? You just draw. You will bear fruit in the I went to the oranges. It was two pieces. I was telling everyone. You will bear fruit. I like to thank God. They all bear fruit. I mean, great yielding. One day I used to go there at night with my knife and a plate. I could pick, peel, and eat. And Mrs. Pastor told me, But how comes you've taken a lot? Won't you produce oranges? Amen. Amen. I said, okay, let it be. I suffered with them. It was the word that caused the harvest. I went to a Christian home. Olivia Natuazaje. Her name is Olivia Natuazaje. And she told me that avocado tree does not produce fruit. And I asked her where it is. And she showed me that tree. And I commanded it that you avocado tree, you shall bear fruit. Have you heard me? You have to yield. Natuazaje laughed. Olivia laughed. But today, she brings me some avocado. I said that your thing now bought fruit. It bears a lot of fruits now. Amen. Amen. It grew, it grew up and it produced the fruit. You can speak to the hill, to the mountain, and it goes away. There is a 
is a story which happened in Kenya. I always, I always talk about it. It was a story of our dear sister. She was a, a Christian. The family hated her so much because she was a Christian. She was poor. And their father died. After, after a while they divided the land and this poor lady was given a hill Amen. Amen. The, the hill only had maram soil nothing could be grown there because they did not love her she had been rejected and had left home to a certain area where she used to survive from when she was given that place she was so offended and cried and she said at least you have something but I but have nothing on me me. Why did you give me a place where I can at least cultivate and get some? She encouraged herself in the scriptures. And one day, she ran spiritually mad. She came to the that place started speaking against her because she had nowhere to, to put a house every time she could come yes, Jesus said whoever speaks to a mountain be moved into the sea this is where I shall build a house be moved into the sea she went back now and then God is real great. In that area, government ya Kenya, the Kenyan government decided to make roads within the area. It looked for maram soil. When they examined the quality of the maram they wanted, it was in that place. So they came. The lady wasn't there. They called for her. And she was given money. She was given a lot of money. She did not have a bank account. She opened the wall. And she was a filthy woman. The graders came in the morning. And demolished the mountain. They demolished the mountain. Until when it was fully leveled. The woman built a house that the siblings did not ever had. She didn't stop at that. She sold some money and started business. Everyone started admiring her. There is power in prayer. What the world calls foolish is the power of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Sometimes Olusi, we tell people to do these things and they doubt. Stop doubting God. The Bible is real. Amen. Amen. There is another testimony here in Uganda. Still, there is a man came from a family when he was rejected I wonder why they reject born again they also rejected this one what he did he left and went to the city center he went to Owino selling shoes Amen. He even didn't have enough capital. When the father passed on, he was also given a rock earlier. He was also offended the same way. They used to mock him and said, You are the strong one that can do quarrying there. But God is so great. For him, he was established in Christ. When they were constructing Masaka Road, they went to his rock. The brokers came for him and they told him, They said, This place is yours. Do you have a land title? Yes, I do. Do you have a bank account? They told him we are giving you. We are granting you eight hundred millions. 
We are granting you 800 m in your place. But the rest of the money is not yours. I said, for me, I've, I've not done anything. Do you have a bank account? I do not have one. He went to Centenary Bank, opened up an account, and they deposited his clear money. This happened like 15 years ago. They deposited his money there. You know wisdom is wealth. What he did, he kept in his business of building in shoes. He got connected to those businessmen and got abroad and he shipped containers of shoes and started becoming a supply of shoes within the window market. And that's where his wealth originated from. Your wealth may come from a certain thing you do not expect. Something you, you, think, you think that is shameful. God is going to turn it around and become glorious. Amen. Amen. There is another lady. She got a daughter. But the lady was born again. And so was the daughter. But this woman was not legally married. Uh, she raised her daughter outside the outside marriage. So what she did, she got born again. The Lord loved her and so the pastors did. She was crying to the Lord and said, Oh God, will you ever open a door for me and I fare well? My daughter is illegitimate and is not loved. And so am I. And she is the only one that I got there. The, the daughter started. But it was the mother who struggled for the school fees. But God is very great. When the daughter grew up, she grew up from a poor state. She was well behaved. And she was loving people. She was lovely. One, one noble around the area. Uh, saw her and even the residents recommended her to be married and the girl got married to a son of that honorable the girl was taken abroad they also hoped the mother and traveled abroad their life was totally transformed. But not that every poor person is hoped. Unless that poor person who has God The Bible said the poor man called upon God and God heard him. And saved him from all his afflictions. This month we are going to fast and pray. Fast and pray. No, but fasting does not change God. It changes you and me. Fasting does not change God. Fasting changes you and me. Fasting is not the price you pay to receive what you want from God. I've seen Christians fast. So many people have gone astray. They have backslidden from God. Why? Because they placed their trust in fast. But today I want to teach you. Fasting is not the price you pay to receive what you need from God. But fasting changes you. In the period of fasting, you sit with yourself. You reorganize your life. You repent as you reorganize your life and confess your sins before God. 
God comes closer. And whenever God comes, He takes away whatever the devil placed in your life. The Bible says, Bible any plantation which my father did not plant shall be uprooted. Praise the Lord. Amen. God the Father knows the plantations He plants. But he, you just have to give him an, an opportunity to come closer to you. He does not see from afar, but wants to be close. Fasting brings God closer. Sometimes God doesn't want to come closer. Before repentance. Because sin stinks. Amen. Amen. But when you confess your sins in the period of fasting, God comes closer. And when He comes, He begins to look around your family. He sees plantations which He has never planted. And He begins to approach them. The devil plants in your body, plants in your family. In your mind, he can, he can plant cancer. He can plant anything. He can plant anything. But when God comes closer, he begins to see that this plantation is not mine. This one is not mine. Hallelujah. Amen. So, Katonda again, Akuja. Therefore, God is going to come as long as you examine yourself. You repent. Amen. Amen. And you repent. You pray. We shall learn how to pray. In this month, I pray for the spirit of prayer to come. We are going to have prayer sessions. I want us to pray from here as you pray at home. On Sunday, I want a bottle of anointing oil. A small bottle for your own sake. You will buy it for yourself. You will, already, you will anoint your children every night. You go with that bottle of anointing oil in your office and you anoint your seat before you occupy it you go with your bottle to the garden you anoint your garden you anoint your, your farm you anoint your kral amen amen this time we are going to be even more than the Nigerians. You know for them they are like that. You don't joke with them. Amen. For Ugandans they are just lazy like that. But for the Nigerians they get their bottle of anointing oil this place belongs to God. No demon can step here. I've anointed this place. I've set it apart for the works of God. For the glory of God. Hallelujah. Amen. When you anoint your office of course you have to declare Bible says thou shalt declare a thing Bible and it shall be established unto thee. We are going to be declaring to our children to our husbands to our wives to our offices, offices when you anoint you begin to declare I shall be a head not a tail I shall be above only not beneath in the name of Jesus I shall be above only not beneath in the name of Jesus I shall be a head and always a head of everyone in Jesus name how many of you are going to do it this month
Even if you are going to fast for 21 days All the days in July you shall be doing it You bring the anointing oil on Sunday in both services In the first service I will be praying for those service Even the second service I will do the same We are going to attack as warriors Militarily we are going to attack you shall go to your farm where you do your pick and show with your anointing as you pick this you shall if there is anything that is in your worms you please lose there is a um, there was a woman who, who is our, the late there. Our, our petrol station where there is a petrol station now one day she came here with a goat pastor my God produces on one kid produces only one I told her just tie it on that pole in the church we used to have poles we had around 15 poles around 25 they were uh, uh, sustaining the roof and I told her you tie it around there I came with anointing oil I didn't come to pray for the goats but I came to order it but whenever I could go to command it it could rotate around what I did I waited for the rope to become short when I used to go this side it could go around and I could leave it go then the rope was very short I also touched it and I commanded it that you baby, you have to produce three kids at once in the name of Jesus the next birth there were three kids the lady gave me one of the kids I also did not make a loss learn to speak with the creatures Amen. Amen talk to your performance some of you perform poorly in the office. This month, talk to your brains. Talk to your eyes. Talk to your hands. Your hands, you are going to count dollars in the name of Jesus. Some people don't receive because they doubt in their heart. As Jesus said, if you talk to the mountain and you don't doubt in your heart and you believe no that whatever you speak will come to pass, it will surely come to pass. Some people, after talking, they begin to doubt. There are some ideas which cross their minds. And they say, ah, what did this happen? Then you would have killed. It. Say life and death. Gamba, oblam no kufa. Life and death. Oblam no kufa. Lies in the power of the tongue. Buli mu mani galulimi. Look at this. Tuno irachino. We pray for you. Tuko sabira. You go back with the miracle. Not de kane chama gero. After a while, ngawai sakabanga. You kill your miracle. No weti re chama gero chuo. With a negative speech. Nebi gamba with a negative bio yogera. When you confess negatively, when you confess defeat, you kill our miracles. You kill the prayers of the pastor. If you don't understand something, close your mouth. Amen. Amen. God saw that the father of John the Baptist was going to kill the miracle and made him dumb. All the things of the angel. He explained it to the wife when he was using sign language. What 
use the sign language to explain all. For sure, I failed to understand that language. When they, they put that person interpreting, I got myself not to look at that person. Because I want to learn when he's still doing this, then the anchor goes to another point. So God decided to make him dumb. Because if he would speak, he was going, going to kill the miracle. When God wanted to break down Jericho, the walls of Jericho, he told Joshua to tell the children of Israel not to speak any word. Don't talk to one another. Rotate the wall silently. Because God knows the power behind speech. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. We are created in the image of God. And God calls you a small God. When you speak positively, you create something. When you speak negatively, you kill. You kill. Praise the Lord. Amen. Not everything that we do understand. Some of the things you won't understand. You may even not know the sex of the fetus you have. Because you don't know. It doesn't mean that you don't have a baby. What you don't understand. Just keep quiet. Some people. Rotate. Move in circles. Instead of going forward, they go back where they started because of their mouth. When they suffer, they begin to speak poisonous words. They begin to murmur. Do you know why God hates murmuring? A man, a man kills what God has done. God has a good plan for your life. Actually, actually the best plan for you. Because in your miracle, he's lifted. In your miracle, he trusts men unto himself. Miracles are good. But they draw men to Christ. They reveal the power of Christ. They take away the doubt in people's hearts. But before a miracle comes to pass, before a miracle is produced, God begins with a speech. And you have to sustain it with a speech. You have to sustain, to fertilize it with a speech. Amen. Amen. God begins it with a speech. And before it happens, you fertilize it with the speech. Hallelujah. Amen. You don't walk by sight, you walk by faith. Before you even see it, you know very well in the heart of, in, in, deep in your heart that God will do it. That God is able. Please fertilize it. What do I mean by fertilize it? When you speak positively and you speak in the line of the scripture, in the line of the prophecy it's like fertilizing hallelujah amen. you establish it you establish it amen, amen. that's why many times I speak what God spoke concerning my ministry because God told me that I'm going to bring revival he mentioned some nations but he first mentioned Korea South Korea but I don't know where Korea is I don't have friends in Korea but I know one day I'll bring revival to South Korea and other nations of the world because God told me. Amen. Amen. So I keep on speaking. 
truthfully I don't know where Korea is because I know when God speaks there is an appointed hour because I don't know when it will come to pass I just wait and speak positively as I keep on speaking I fertilize it I water it I water it I weaken demons I weaken the, 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 the agents of the devil Hallelujah Amen. But you are just there People saying you floated Amina. Amen. Now I tell you, Kaba. You also cry. I tell Kaba this. Then why are you weeping? Amina. Amen. If they are saying that you floated, you tell them I'll get married. And you, you weaken their words. In the ministry of Jesus, he never spoke about death. Even when they told him that Jairus' daughter is dead, he said he is not dead but he asleep. Someone who is already dead. He did not say that, that, that Lazarus is dead. He was saying that he is asleep because he was going to resurrect him. He doesn't speak about weakness. Only speak what the Lord speaks about you. Only what God speaks about you is what you have to confess. What the pastor speaks about you is what you have to confess. You are the person of tomorrow. You are the one to serve for nations. You shall be the head, not a tail. You bring a wedding in your father's home. You will be the first person to drive a car in your family. You will be the answer to the problems of your family. You have to confess them about yourself. But the problem is one. The beginning. Mama, how are you? Oriota. What's your name? Mama, ni. Namanya. Baling anti mama. Njaku kubori. Zono. Sagala kuita manya gavana. Namanya. Namanya who? Penny rope. The penny rope unjaga kugamba. Penny rope. I want to tell you. Were you born that size? No. Was that what we can do? Nasari wanga dimuto. Katono. Kanamanya katono. How many kilograms? Why not kilomaker? Like three kgs. Uh, eh, mm. Three kgs. Mm. But uh, namanya. Omanyi kilo zoli na kati. You know, your weight now. 67. 67. Nka gamu sanf. Praise the Lord. Nka mevazwe. In your beginnings. Muntandi kwayo. Always things are not big. Ebi ntutebi babi nene. Amen. Amen. Small things. The Bible tells us Bible to not to despise days of small beginnings. That is how God does these things. You're born when you weigh three kilograms. Only three. Or oh, four kilograms. That is the biggest, the a bigger baby. But here there are some people who weigh a hundred kilograms. You raise up your hand if you weigh a hundred kgs. One hundred. and twelve. This one is one hundred and twelve. This one one hundred to love. Hmm? Who else? What is the capacity of a boda boda? But you who weighs uh, 100 kgs, if you were that big, you were 4 kilograms at birth. I want to tell you, God does not do but those that will be great start small when God is counting he starts with one, zero two, three. Ah. then one and goes ahead zero, zero. zero. if you are at zero God has started 
In the beginning there was nothing. Nothing. And God started from there. This evening. At least you have something. At least you call yourself poor. But you have hair. You have eyes. You have hands. Yes. God is starting with you. But believe me. You will prosper. One person here that will not prosper in this situation. Mom from Kajans, how are you? Thank you for coming. She, she stays at Kajansi. gas. Mulindwa mwonga oche ya gula hao. Hey. Zikidi lila nengenda wanse. Hey. Hmm. Nula abandu wano nyaka tonda. You see how people seek for God. Kadabolio we rubugumu. Someone from rubugumu. Alimu bugumu. Is in warm. Kadibu wawo gena mmoto kajina kusabido jakutu ala mamono. When you are going Musa back, lao, you shall give de. her a lift. Abele and pay for me. You pay me in that way. Yonga yonga Where I stop, you drop her there. Musa Have you got it? Praise the Lord. You have relatives here this way. Praise the Lord. You see, some people claim to come from far. That you stay at Kayebe. Kayebe is very far from here. Someone comes from Kajansi. Who else comes from very far? Apart from me. Praise the Lord. Today, God wants to start with you. Where do you come from? I see an orange tree where they've poured ash around. I wonder why I saw you and I saw it. Is that where you are? Did you build it? Oh, you are a teacher. Whose daughter are you? Mm -hmm. These days, people from Masaka are those of Nansan. I see an orange tree. It is a bit of but around the stem, the around the stalk, they put ash. Have you ever stayed in such a home? Oh, you know it from anywhere. I don't know, but when I looked at you, I got that vision. Let me preach on. I'll look critical to it. Are you married to them? Is that why I built a house? Thank you for getting a place there. Your missus who? Galiwango Dennis. Hmm? Galiwango Dennis. Aliwan? Adam Sumba. How did you know about this church? A friend brought. You. Have you received anything so far? So, in brief, you have not yet received anything. And what do you want? Business. Business is such a broad word. I want a job because I'm jobless. Which kind of job do you want? I want to deal in food. 
There are people that will come to your restaurant. There are people that will, that will supply. Is that what you feel like you desire? Have you ever done it before? You may, you may love it, but first make research. What you're going to do because you've never done it before. Let me pray for you. Lord God, I pray that this lady gave her something to do in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. How many of you are ready to get a bottle of anointing? Maybe you don't have money and you, you join hands and buy one bottle how much is a bottle of anointing oil yeah, one liter uh, one liter capacity olive oil 38 let's say 40,000 one liter can be shared among six people that anointing oil can take you throughout the month so you bring a bottle uh, so that everyone uh, someone can take then we pray for it we take you how to use it but if you are not that prayerful please do not take it I want every time you anoint your child or you anoint your, your kral I want us to have a month of prayer you may move around around your kral as you pray oh lord let them produce let them bring them as you pray Amina. Amen. Not just moving you have to pray for something you pray for the pillow of your husband Lord let him have dreams of the angels let him stop alcoholism you cannot lay your hands upon him let's pray for the hey, pillow point of contact. to be a point of contact whenever he lays his Nga head down sabide. after praying for that hey, pillow his thoughts will turn to God Anji. Amen for you to pray for the shoes of your husband Lord whenever he goes let him make money so that he doesn't go in vain we are going to pray in a crazy way this month Amen Amen if you are married and you're both born again, you come from home after anointing each other. When he anoints you, you anoint him as well. Do not just pour a lot of anointing oil. You just sit up a little bit. The best thing is to decorate. Go and anoint. Go get me. Let them see you. Let them see you. Let others disappear. Now these chief Let cases do not overpile in courts. Amen. Amen. Let every case be, be solved and then it will You know I always want to pray for them. Because people bewitch cases. Those judges, they bewitch them. Someone comes in court. When they in the, in the shrine and you can even see from their country. It is good to go for a court After anointing yourself. When the demons are the anointing and they flee. They blow pipes alone. They're changing the minds of the, uh, the judges. 
one day one day my daughter called me nagamba, nagamba, hmm. and i said you're joking deva i know your tricks she has ever testified i was somewhere and i went somewhere and i sent fire i know people who are, who are, who are, who are who they can be wicked they can be wicked and change everything but by the time we come to the court we would have rendered palace everything you eventually see everything turning back to their heads. When they were not going on, and they chased and then they chased the case out of court. You move with your anointing oil bottle. Don't joke with us. In the luggage, there must be a bottle of oil. You beg him. You must have a bottle of anointing oil in your bag. Hallelujah. Amen. They don't drink it either, do they eat it? Amen. Amen. Pray for your home. Confess words. One day, I, I gave a prophecy to a certain guy. I told her, a time will come and you work in an office with a lot of money. After some time, she's not a, a member of this church. She used to come for overnight prayers. And time came. Salim Saleh. Uh, Salim, Salim. When he was given the office of the Intandikwa. Uh, somewhere this girl was selling phones along Wilson Road. And she was picked. She was picked. And she was taken to an office. A parliamentary avenue. A parliamentary avenue. And she told the pastor <laughs> that I fear people. What you see here, pastor, the pastor that told me about it is in Kasangat. He told, the, he told me about it three times and asked whether he says that we have money. You know, every time you are impoverished. Rude. You see people that are rude. They are very bankrupt. But for me, even if I'm so bankrupt, I remain glad. Because I do have hope. My tomorrow will be greater than my today. The Lord did it. She was sat in the office. On that very day. She called her pastor. And said, Pastor, come. And see the man that prophesied over my life. Reaching there. The guards were They said, Is he the one up to the office? She had gone out a little bit. One of them told me that you may have a seat there, sitting in the chair. I felt like thorns breaking me. I turned fast. I saw nothing. The lady came and said, Oh my God. And I said, What is it? She said that that seat I was talking about, the cleaners told me that they put charm in the seat behind the seat. And to turn around the chair, it was put on either it side of the side. It was a Monday. So the pa her pastor that was showed it went on the side and said, I will not manage this. Let, let's wait for the one that's on the the one that prophesied when I came and sat I also tested of it but after telling me I did not get up with it, still feeling the caterpillars me, I started praying for around 3-4 minutes they were no more what were they after? They did not want this girl to 
take this position because it was a lot of money in there I also left praise the Lord I did not see the, the big I thought maybe I would be moving around I could see Salim Saleh but I did not praise the Lord listen to this Weekend is in Zimbabwe. These weekends are always long. You've gone for a leave. When you're going back to office, go and get a lay of hands of the pastor. Because you don't know what has happened in your absence. On Monday, pray for your seat before you occupy it. Amen. Amen. Pray. Yes, before the, the, the day begins before the month the week begins before the month begins before the year begins that's why we congregate every 31st of December to dedicate the year before it begins because the devil the devil knows very well that every new year he must do great things I to kill, to steal, I and to destroy. I and that is the reason why Jesus was manifested to destroy the works of the devil. And Jesus uses you and me. Hallelujah. Amen. How many of you are ready to pray this month? may God bless you all you shall bring the anointing oil but it's not the anointing oil to pray you are the person to pray Amen. Amen. we are going to arrest whatever the devil has taken from us we are going to arrest the heart of your husband by 31st July your, the heart of your husband will be with you Please come and sit over here. Bring her your seat. She has been looking for you. It seems the heart is far away. Come with your seat. She is looking for you. Are you fine now? Mm -hmm. Nothing to do for him. I'm it. talking about the heart she's looking for him. Praise the Lord. <laughs> by that first July believe or not your customers will be at your doorstep we are going to recover them from we are going to recover them live alone the word fasting if I forego my faith and forego my spirit I go with my anointing oil and then I I lay my hands on the shelves. You can even speak to the clothes. And tell them you stock you I call upon customers to buy you. Leave other items to come in. In the name of Jesus. You go on laying your hands upon them. You people of Botique. Well you just wipe off. As as you wipe off as you pray. Let me go this way. How many of you are going to pray? Learn how to pray. Pray. That power is going within your anointing oil. Amen. But some of you don't pray. 
When you wake up, you anoint your forehead. You stay there spreading your hands. Later on, you sleep off. And you, you snow up to the morning. The Lord really used me at night. Wake up and pray. If you are to wake up and pray, get out of your comfort zone. Leave your bed. Get off your duvet. Go somewhere cold. Go somewhere hard. That is how it's supposed to be. Get out of your comfort zone. Some of you get up, you sleep on your bed and cover yourself with a duvet. Then you start praying. Oh, Jesus. 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 Get out of your bed. Sit down on the cold floor and pray. You see those people that bewitch us. They, they get out. Go to the banana plantation where it is very cold. They get a pipe and stand within a banana plantation and they don't want anyone to see them. And they start calling upon everything. They summon your name as they blow the pipe. They are in a cold place. For you, you are in your bed. How will you overcome such a person? Every night in this month, beginning with it tonight, we have to get out of our comfort zones. Amen. Who will get out of it? You know, Mammy said, doesn't want us to shout for her. The way we shout at Pentecostal way. Why don't you learn how to pray in silence? Because I don't get delivered when I don't shout. Learn to pray in silence when the, the prayer is sensible. Uh, when a born again doesn't run mad, cannot pray. How do you pray? To Olo <laughs> 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 Come, get this microphone. How do you pray? Greet us. Good afternoon, Pastor. Good evening, good evening, dear. I pray. How I, do you pray? I always, now, I want you to pray for mommy. Jesus, I pray for my mother to go to South Africa to get money for us to travel. I pray for my father to get a job, to visit us. I pray for me and my sister to pass our studies. I pray for my brother who's abroad to get money. To send chocolate. <laughs> to get money and come and visit us. I take me. What is your name? Rita. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Rita. 
Heavenly Father, mm -hmm. we thank you for this day. Mm. We thank you for the protection. We thank you for the provision. We believe that we are going to conquer this day. We are going to be prosperous. That we will, all, that we will overcome all challenges and all struggles that the devil is bringing us against us as we move. May you bless us. May you guide us. May you give us wisdom mm. and understanding mm. so that we may go to mm. another level. Mm. Father, mm. we glorify your name. Mm. We praise you. Mm. We honor you. Mm. We magnify you. Mm. We exalt you beyond each and everything. Mm. We believe that you are Jehovah Jireh. Yes, Lord. <laughs> mm. Kelly, a prayer. Atesituka. Katuwa wola banga chizibu nyo kangutwadi ya dala maso. Atwa. Omusabi wechi waka ungezi. Arumbie. The prayer warrior of tonight is here. Ha. Ulo usabi na mami uo. Mm. <laughs> Nkweba za ichitange, mm -hmm. rovi ntuyo nabe tutuseko, vyo mm -hmm. za kwengalo. Mm -hmm. Aichitange, mm -hmm. nkusava, mm -hmm. otuwa anga tutambula, anga tufuruma wano mm -hmm. kumachaga alero. Mm -hmm. Otukume, mm -hmm. otuwa hukume wo, mm -hmm. okuate vye tugendo kuata kunga, okuate kubi ntu vye tugendo kola, anga tetunavi kuata ko. O, ojewo emisangu em, jonei jine mkubo mm. otambuze vulu njero otukume ya ichitange mm. mm. otutambuze emilimu jafo jikuwa teko nga tetunya jikuwa tako mm. nsabira mama wange mm. omukume mm. ulichaya gala ochikuwa teko nga tanina chikuwa tako mm. oyogere nga tetuna yogera mm. otuwe chisacho mm. ilanga tusikusabia mlinyali ya Yesu Christo Amen Wangude Mkama kwa mkisa. May God bless Weekend. you. This week. Umwe ziguno. This month. Tugenda kusaba. We are going to pray. Bido imba demu sababi wedeo. This kind of prayers you've been making a normal. Tujula ngana moyo mtukuvu. You are not even filled by Don't the Holy Spirit. Don't concocted tongues. And you, you speak concocted tongues. You concoct tongues. Eni mingo jinga njinge. Ajjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjj
God gave them utterance. It is the spirit of God which gives us utterance. Not us. You don't plan what you to, to, to speak or what you are going to speak. Let God give you utterance. Let the spirit of God flow. You know prayer begin the Holy Spirit is the one who initiates prayer. In your spirit it is the spirit of God. Not you. Not your mind. This very evening I'm going to release the spirit of prayer upon all of you. And the spirit of God is going to take control over your life the whole of this month. And on Sunday, I'll pray for each and every one as I give you anointing oil. Amen. Amen. So in the course of the week, I'll be teaching and praying. But I want to caution you please. Don't bring people to be prayed for. This week, Weekend. sorry, this month, we are going to pray. We are going to seek God. We are going to pray for ourselves. We are praying for our homes. We are praying for our businesses. Then after fasting, we shall take the seed and something will be stirred up. It will be stirred up to another level. You don't know what it means. We are going to end our fasting period. After praying all after after our seed. petitions, then we shall take the seed. Then we shall see something There will be no person poor here. You're going to cross any, any kind of God that you want. You're going to fast. I feel like I'm going to build again. I want to build again a house. When my bedroom is uh, 30 feet, 30 by 30 feet. Okay, maybe 40 by 40. Because I have to have a jacuzzi mm. there. Ah. Everything. Toilet in Yagala Satu. I want three toilets in one bedroom. Manya Biri. I mean to everyone has his or her own. Hello. Hey, good in the hey. When you can even have a meeting in a bedroom. The children come sit on the carpet. When you cannot see the feet they are taken up in the wood. You ask a junior where are your feet? They bring it out of the the carpet and shows it to you. The heaven has to kiss the earth. The heaven has to kiss the ground. Well, I want a five star hotel to come into your home and make it in your house. I will not stop praying for you until when you sleep like a tourist. When you have a fridge in your bedroom, Amen. Amen. You can decide to seek for the Lord uh, on Nenga your carpet. When it comes to fasting, I chase you out of those soft carpets. Because the devil can meet you there. No fruit. And you sleep off. Who says it is very possible? It will be possible. Ulida. Listen to this. I want you to have I want you to have a truck to bring uh, grass for the cattle that will bring elephant grass for the cattle Amen that is one for your wife that is two 
for her husband e Chiri, family. Family kafu. when you are saying that you are take a trip at once you have a seven seater car five nya no mo papa kale ka tudem let's go back e yente a truck e yo two e am chalao three family e ya cash e twala bana kusomero six e e genda kumbaga e ya mikoro only, only for functions. Ezomeka. Seven. Trakita. Trakita. Eight. Ezomeka. Nana. Umuloko leta ukubani moto kamo nana. A born again has to have eight cars. Meka. Eight. Mami, mami, we want to go out. Driver, what have you sumuluzo? When the children want to go out, we just give the car keys to the driver to take them. But for sure, you die just dreaming about them without seeing any of them. We have one chance to live on this planet. So you know, one chance. When you die, you will never come back here. You have to enjoy life. Here. As far as your eyes can see, the Lord will give you the land. Hallelujah. Amen. A time has to come. You go as a family for holiday. A, a trip. Um, Week holiday, two weeks in Dubai. Five -star hotel. You go resign in the five star hotel. Bedrooms, you give the children their bedroom. Wanji. Hello. Ania chagala chumbeko. Zijagala chumbeko. Me too. A plan is interesting when you're sitting like a family. Who says it is possible? It is very much possible. You go somewhere. You live in Abu Dhabi for two weeks. The children eat some things they you teach think they have not seen before. No, you buy gereza. But when a child sees a plane, they say there goes my seven. Oh dear Lord, may you have mercy. This month, let's break all those. The children said that this is the way the when they've never seen it. Even you adults, you've never seen a plane when it is on ground. Truth be told for me, I saw it when I was old. I just saw it when I was this big and I, I had accepted Jesus we went to Entebbe and I saw it landed and I said wow it is so big many of you are like me some of you have never even reached Katabi children ask for money for the for tour you give it well in quotation They've gone to two other of the land. Land. When you the big person, you've never <laughs> gone there to church. I went to Ginger when I was an adult. Yet the children asked for us money for the tours. So time has come to start enjoying life. Uh -uh. We shall not wait for the big thing. Who has a juice blender in their houses? Who doesn't have one? I pray for you. Before the end of July, may everyone get a juice blender. And when you buy them, utilize them. No, I bring that in the name of Jesus Spirit, Amen. For whom are you working? Praise the Lord. Let me tell you. 
When you are at home, maybe on Sunday or Saturday. Mix some fruits. You make some good juice. You make some good juice. But you doesn't booze anymore. What do you enjoy for sure? Hmm? Soda. Soda has also got its problems. Hmm? Hmm. 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 I break off the spirit of pineapple juice. Please teach our children. You load the juice. So that the children can learn how to blend the juice. Who knows that juice over, over is sweet? Mixed with words. I sing a Amata? Who knows it for sure? How sweet is it? What do you Salt. mix? Salt. Come a On way Munyonyo Speak Resort. Do you make it? Mumu kole wamwe. Hmm. We call it avocado smoothie. Bakaita with that. Akachi, akadu si. Avocado smoothie. What? Avocado smoothie. Mami chuanoka. Go no chi sovole echo. How do you mix it? Just blend avocado. Uh huh. If you want to put, avocado. maybe you, you put can. In what? You put some ice cream or milk. Mami take a little matter. Uh huh. Yes. Then you make a smoothie. What? You can use ice cream to add the taste. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Then avocado, then the milk. And sugar? No. Ice cream has sugar already. So you don't need to add now, sugar. You're talking to someone who stays in Nangabo. There's no ice cream. Kati, ne wafe Nangabo, te tuina ice cream, utu chikora tutia. Kati, wabo le gala, oinzo okte kamu, oba katu unda, na nefuna flavor. Okay, avocado. Avocado na katu. Passion. Not to come on scaring Gamutin, eh? Rokba was singer to watch a new squad. Hm. Hakati. So we, you buy ice cream? Yes, we buy blend ice cream. Blend avocado? Yeah. And you put in what? You put in some milk. And milk? Yes. Or you okay. can use avocado, banana, and milk. Okay, I understand. Banana, avocado, and milk. I mean, for avocado, no matter. If it's just a glass, you can use three scoops of ice cream, one banana, and a very little milk just to mix it. Okay. How many of you are saying it is really? You, you better take that smooth and you have good skins. What else can we get Saturday and Sunday. on Sunday and uh, Saturdays? What else can Sebu we machi. have? Chita feri. Uh, yes. Uh, that's our soup. Chita feri. O teka muchi. Amata. Na chuba teka mu amata. Aboru ganda. Unga mafumbe ko. Abaka makamireo. Ah. What else? Musawo. Chakunyachi, Professor Cho in Zomuganda, no Musibidi, the Chotilum Korea. Kajisako can get Tagatotia. Nanansi, what a melon of Tunda. Nanans, what a melon of Tunda. Not at a Kamuska, not at a Ateka na kaka wako, 
bakateka muchi nena nakombo tunda noteka mna katanga owes eh katanga jinja mango and what passion fruits and passion mola bebi into ebyo mwamyo jambo tila mukolera juice chikati ah um. Orange juice. Orange. Yes. That's what I changed. Or no Zengena basabira. Dero sike na kusabira mafuta. I'm not going to pray for anointing oil today. Mafuta magalete kusande. But bring it on Sunday. Waluo mwana. There is a child. Alo te chizikiza. Dreams of darkness. In the form of a human being. Nge chizikiza chile mchikula cha mtu. I want to see that. Njagala kula. Mwana girl. Njagala kula bobo mwenzo oba mwala. But a young. A young girl or a boy. Gwanga told him one. Mulet Omlalo Omwana. A child. A lot teach Zikiza in a human form. The dreams of darkness singer and Zikiza in which Kula Charmont. Are you the one? Bakum's in the two Get a microphone and tell us. In Chilota, Kalechija. Chibanga or Bachagala or Kunkuva. Smile with your children of Montalabangi Sikis and Momon. Was I go going Jagal? Maybe you're the one. Young one. Osomawa? To which school do you go? Manyabo Namuchi Penina over Penny Rob. Emira, 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 to find. Ah, um, I break the covenant behind you, behind your name. I crush them in Jesus' name. I deliver your life. You will study in the name of Jesus. You will study in the name of Jesus. I come against that spirit. Leave this girl. In the name of Jesus. Leave this girl. Leave her alone. I crush you. I crush you. I crush you. I crush you. In the name of Jesus. Leave this girl. Leave this girl. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. Ah. Wherever I came from, Dayo. go back. I stop that dream in the name of Jesus. I surround you with the wall of fire. I surround you with the wall of fire. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Who wants to kill herself? You hear a voice speaking. Why don't you finish yourself? Just put up your hands. Put up your hand. It's not a crime. There is a voice which I want to deal with. I'm not leaving this place. By the time I spoke, I had spotted you.
mariwano Speaking to her, that, he, that she was now given to you, and you command her to come to Siva. But I bind you, demon, I bind you in the name of Jesus. Lose. Never claim her life again. Vow. I said leave the girl I ran a powerless 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 I ran a I I command whatever burned your money increase and captured your increase multiplication also burned your multiplication to leave you I said go leave this lady alone I bind you. I crush you. I put you under my feet. You have no right. You have no right. I say go. You have no right. Leave her alone. In the name of Jesus. From today. Multiplication. Yes, God, give thanks to God. There is a way that brings hide. They teach you something in the morning. By evening, it's normal. That is the work of the devil. Who is that amongst you? Do you mean all of you? Be serious. Be very serious. Of you, who gets who is who studies something in the morning by evening the forgotten? Raise up your hand. Now one is. Lord, I pray for these girls. May you place new wisdom. Majesty.
And I want to tell you, devil, you are not going to take anyone among us. I want to tell you, you are not going to take anyone among us. Not even our businesses. You are not going to kill our relationship. I serve you not to leave now. Death, you have no power because Jesus overcame you 2,000 years ago. Better for pack up your things. Leave us. We shall not die but live. But leave to declare the works of God. We shall not die. Your businesses, your dreams shall not die. You shall not die. Your relationships. Your dreams. Your plans. Your capital. Your children. Everything around you shall not die. Shall not die. Come on, everyone, bind the spirit of death. Clap your hands and bind it. Chase it out of your home. Out of your businesses. In the name of Jesus. Death, go. Leave our homes, leave our church, leave our village in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Gamba send the zangi jangu. Send my money, come. My money come. My wealth come. In the name of Jesus. Amen. This is the first day. Pastors, as people leave, elders and pastors. Abantunga ba gena ba kadina ba sumba. Again, again, and I'm after you. They're going to anoint you. And as when we wake up at night to pray, but in as we to pray, I believe the spirit of prayer will come. Zikiri zangu moyo kusaba jakuka. This month we shall not lack. There will be no lack. Togenda kubura. I'm telling you, there will be no lack. Send is going to come. Even you without noticing where it's coming from. Side job again, side job. Let the money. We shall be fast. As you be breaking your fast in a good way. Always take caution of this. When you break the fast, at least put, uh, make some porridge. And what? Some sweet bananas. Amen. Amen. And something light. Then you eat a supper. Don't do this. You children, yes, mommy. My breakfast, keep it. Keep my lunch. Keep my evening meal. You understand? Then you come to this time. When all different meals are kept. And they are put on your table. Then you say yes, we You say it by faith. When you speak to this mountain, thou will be cast in the sea. I shall not doubt in your heart. Now this mountain, I speak to you. I'm going to chew you. Every time you gather all those meals, 
Do you know what you would have done It will be just changing of time of food You shall not get any results We fast for spiritual and physical benefits You are going to benefit spiritually And you are going to benefit physically Physically you are going to cut weight I know you are proud of your many kilos But after the fast you lose some kilos and you will make a wonderful skin because you shall be taking plenty of water many sicknesses will get out of you blood will be circulating well fasting is not starvation amen, amen. fasting is very good if at all you use it well because of the intense anointing in this church in the middle of the month there will be miracles but when we are done with the fasting when we are teaching fasting always the results of fasting appear after the fasting but for the grace which is here is so special I can't talk about this But usually Results come after the fast In case you don't see anything In the fast I've told you Usually Results come after the fast And even Daniel received his results After the fast Even Esther and even the Israelites they saw the results after the, the fast but I can't say such a way because our things are always unique and they are wondrous God does according to his will here in Nangao therefore for that reason if at all a miracle comes within the period of fasting please don't quit now what, what am I looking after they have called me for the job they are paying me finish the fasting period because that's not the only reason as why you're fasting in this period of fasting we are going to give if you want your fasting to be fruitful you endeavor to see that you delight someone in a day you get some clothes and give to others take out some things you can give a shoes you can give shoes money and you break someone's fast you give them five okay, to buy a um, of banana tea to for in, in every five days plan to give someone Example. if you want your first to be fruitful you can surprise people with cars if you don't have a car and you buy fuel for someone because fuel is high you can tell them I'm giving you three liters of fuel to come to church you don't need to give them money just go to total it is very near here you pay for them and give them the number plate of the, the car you understand I want you to get results after the fast and another thing you have to forgive and forget in the period of fasting another thing if you still have parents make them happy in the period of fasting send them something amen. amen I know God is going to provide for you because we want heavens to come down amen, amen. give your parents 
you shall give me cause I'm your dad Though you are at school it's up to you will tell Mr. Jam That you gave that curse over to pastor for him to break the fast And I'll see him come to my gate To break the fast on cassava Praise the Lord Give to your parents during this fasting period you can give your husband some commandment give your husband some commandment God bless you I'm giving you this woman money when the fasting period is about to end then you get man and buy for him a suit that's not faith brethren where is it written that it's only the many to dress the women get him take him say that let's go go to a shop go to a boutique tell him pick what you want if he, he doesn't uh, get a choice you go to another show never do a mistake of buying a shoe for your husband because they have big feet at least you get a measurement of the foot then you go to the shoe store and buy for him a shoe Amen. Amen. If there is anyone with the money for the donor, please come. Amazing, amazing grace. Amazing grace. Amazing grace. Amazing grace. I pray for you the grace. Because the upcoming artist is a star. Amazing grace. Do you know the amazing grace of God? Bring the money for the land, uh -huh. money for dollar seed. May God bless you. This is dollar seed. Thank you so much. This is dollar seed. Dollar seed. Thank you so much. Dollar seed. I bless this girl. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I am blessed. Look at me. I have blessed you. Go and get a job. You will be paid. You will see favor in Jesus' name.
What I can't have that you do them in the life of this man. I awaken whatever went asleep in his life. I raise his life. Lord, you promise that you perfect. That which concerns us. I pray that you do it, my Father. You are the one who called me. I did not call you. You are the one who called me. I did not look for you. You are the one who looked for me. Answer my prayers. In Jesus' name.
Praise God, Church. My name is Kate, and uh, I think this is my fourth time coming here. This friend of mine is the one who brought me here. Uh, come and stand with Kate. <laughs> you are the one who brought her here. Okay. The first time I came, I asked Pastor to pray for me. Because I wanted change, I wanted to leave the bank and get some other job. So he prayed for me and told me, you will get a job. Indeed, I got a job. Amen. So when I got, wait for it. Hmm? Wait for it. Hmm. So I get a job. Uh, then and I get another one, another I, offer, like two offers. Ah, 
So I come back here Kati to testify. Okujulira. So when I came to testify, Bunajulira. you again prayed for me. Then you told me that you're not going to be there for a long time. And it's true. I've started a new job, a new better job. My boss is white. Amen. So I want to give God the glory. He is indeed faithful and may the Lord bless you, Pastor. I don't know. I even don't know what to say. I'm so happy. I'm humbled and I'll forever praise God. Amen. 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 Thank you for bringing a friend. Thank you for having a good heart. Sharing heart. Be blessed to Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Pastor, I'm so grateful. First of all, as why I thank God. I thank the Lord for the anointing in this place. There is anointing here. And when I came to understand it, I, I held it firm on this place. Even, even when I'm going for service in the church, so the Lord trusted me with, I first come here. Clap for that. This man is a pastor at Kansanga. Uh, near the, the used to be the uh, Diddy's World. Wonder World. Wonder World. Wonder World. Yeah. But in, first Korea, service, in the first service, then he drives and goes to preach in the other church. Praise the Lord. But that you there is no smoke without fire. Uh -uh. <laughs> there is something in this place. For sure, the anointing the, the pastor has spoken about. The Lord told me to start a topic of telling so people that are wrong. So, when, 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 when I met a word, when the pastor was saying that we should confess the word, then I felt joy. Let me tell these people a testimony, Pastor, about the word you've been. The Lord gave me the land for church. It has been in Wachiso. But ever since I came to this ministry, the pastor prayed for the ministry. The white men came. As you told me, a lady came with her family. Then I prayed and said, Lord, when I shift the church from Kasanga to Wachiso, it would be as if I'm starting afresh. I said, Lord, the word and its full, the earth and its fullness is yours. You showed me the boundaries of this church. The voice that that what I told you to do is what you should do. The Lord had told me to bring the tithe of the church into this place. But the Lord is so amazing, brethren. I got land within Kansanga. God things are real amazing. I feel a lot of joy. Because there is a means where you first went to. I can't believe. But we have a living God in this place. That lady made me move a lot in ministry. 
Je suis en train de me je suis je suis en train de me dire que je suis When I spoke it, there was a lady in church. Ah, mama we, uh, the mother lives in Kansanga. And I told them that I perceive that we have to get land within this area. Whether the devil lies or not, we shall get land in this location. So that girl went back and told the mother that the pastor pointed this side and said that this is, this is where the land for the church is. The mom said, You call for me that pastor. I want to talk to him right away. I want to talk to him. I've ever prayed from his church. But I saw that he is a faithful man. Yesterday I met this lady. He took me to the land. Where the land is is near the Tamak Road. Yes, just as you see the gate and here. He, he took me around the church Nangamba, the land, sorry. And, and, told, and told me these are the demarcations that I'm going to give Nangamba, you. Pima. And told me that you take measurements. You get a tape measure and measure where you want. Ne, ne I first uh, feared a little Nemugamba. bit and I told her na ye but how will be the payments amusumba. and she said pastor no don't worry Is I am a woman of God just, you shall just give me a little money I've given you the land you, shall just, you will just get anything so I thank the Lord that on Sunday when the Lord told me to tell the church the church raised a 10 million uh, 40,000 and tomorrow I'm going to go take measurements because she told me she doesn't have any question she's giving that she has done tomorrow go with her surveyor go with her transfer papers very fast <laughs> We thank God. Give Jesus a mighty hand clap. I told you that the Lord told me that whoever shall sow in me and whoever shall sow in my ministry will have started to take the anointing. So you're just there. I, we praise the Lord. Get your offering. First come here. to change your life to lift your life open doors for you you are going to begin testifying
giving big testimonies before this congregation. The time has come. The hour is now. Receive the Spirit. Amen. As you give in, you take your seat and she will be seen. Then later on, I will anoint you and you go. Get up, don't leave before we anoint you. He wants to build a house and he wants to buy a car and to finish his whatever, I don't know. But he wants a car and a house. I have this in my hands. I have this in my hands. On behalf of that person, not this one on behalf of that person I've released a job which is going to offer money which is going to finish the project, project of building speedily 
and at the same time bring a car speedily so I charge the angel of God to do this because it was given to me and I can release it to anyone Lord God I want to thank you for your glory let these people receive money to finish the house and to buy a car. I've released it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You are going with this anointing on your heads like this. When they anoint you, or oh, when we anoint you we set you apart for something so we are going to set you apart for great things this month and if there is any anything sickness chaos prayerlessness disease, bankruptcy is going to die in the name of Jesus and as, as we anoint you people because anointing is spiritual it's going to go on those people who are following us now on Facebook direct on, on, on those people who are following us on YouTube you are going to receive the same grace don't worry the anointing has already started moving because of the anointing upon my life I pray Lord that you anoint these people set them apart for yourself give us the power to pray the whole of this man give us the the power to fight spiritual battles in the name of Jesus Lord let your name be glorified in Jesus mighty name Amen, Amen. Those that are going to anoint, please come. Anoint you, then you will anoint you. You'll find anointing oil on the doorway. Whoever you are going to go and anoint us, the grace of God, may it go with you. The greatness of God and the masses of God, and the wisdom of God, and the greatness of God, and the wisdom of God. Upon your lives, in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, the grace of God, the greatness of God, and the masses of God go with you in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Lord, let it be so. Let it be so. Let it be so. Let it be so. In the name of Jesus, protect your people. Protect your people in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy 